크리스마스 아이스튜디오 어, 버티칸 아, 버츄얼 어, 클래스룸 I'm going to show what I s made for this year as a small Xmas Christmas present I would like to present what I studio we really made for this year I will make a slightly smaller audio to reduce the volume to have a background music not too very uh, big so just uh, this is just a YouTube video so I will uh, slow down the voice so that uh, shows a little bit silent Okay, first thing uh, when you do video recording or uh, video broadcasting or uh, zoom uh, from your space is to make a beautiful background. Now I will show you how we create such a beautiful background using this uh, ISO 300. 400 is more, more flexibility, 5000 is a full freedom of high end broadcast. And now I just make a uh, simplest one, which is called 300, which is working in my notebook. So uh, in the Christmas time, everybody has to send a Christmas card to your friend. Instead, we are sending video Christmas cards like I'm doing now. So to make a beautiful background, I just use a photo we took from the Vatican when I visited last week. So this uh, background easily you can change to show different atmosphere. This is a photo from the uh, the uh, church inside, and of course there are many beautiful things like this. This is also the uh, the, uh, the the picture in the ceiling. So I, I took this one and make a small processing to show this. So many different uh, environment you can show like this. So that's a uh, quite interesting uh, background you can make from there. The camera action from here to there is automatically made because of iStudio has a smart PD function which means the, the professional PD what they are doing is the camera action and changing together with the technical director. All this function iStudio has its own automatic uh, switching and changing uh, this kind of feature. So uh, this is the first step to make a studio with a different uh, angles, different size. For example, here we, we have a, a virtual electric whiteboard. Uh, this is the YouTube screen, which uh, I just select from an, another monitor to show the, uh, the Christmas music there. I can show where I'm doing now. This is my room, small uh, notebook. At the background, I put the green studio there. And of course, we have uh, a Zoom. This is uh, some some screen like a Zoom. We can we can learn Zoom here. So you will bring the people, remote people to this screen. So basically, here we have a switcher. So I can just put in my PowerPoint. PowerPoint showing here. And another uh, layer, I show the uh, the camera there. So this camera showing uh, always uh, same time. We can make here with uh, some friends from Zoom or uh, some live camera like I'm doing now uh, or just a screen, something like this. So basically, uh, this uh, uh, ISO 300 has uh, several windows where you can put uh, a different input and also you can change the size in each scene like uh, scene 2 we have uh, this scene where I want to make uh, more concentration on, on myself so people have to watch this if I put this kind of picture and then showing this means I I have a Christmas uh, the this is actually small doors uh, it's a small uh, shops I took a picture and put this one here it's like they are very big uh, the uh, uh, studios like this way so one of the interesting feature we have here is we can change the color to make a different uh, different atmosphere so this is uh, uh, one of the tools we make for example this is uh, another picture but I can make a different uh, different uh, colors and uh, also different size there so everything is so flexibly designed so you can manage this one by yourself not asking any 3D or professional designers this is what we uh, usually doing now you see the the desk has a small transparency you can also remove to make a fully uh, desk like there and when you have background like this you also can change the color to match with the background uh, slightly like this way so that that kind of feature we provide for teacher or presenter 
to do by himself. Um, not many people doing change. Once you set one studio, you never change your use. But anyway, we are providing complete tools how you change this. So now go back to the presentation of my uh, PowerPoint. So when you do this PowerPoint screen here, uh, if you don't like the uh, camera angle, for example here, the, the presenter and presenting material is different. Uh, f here we, we normally put in uh, this kind of things and then you, you just make this one bigger to emphasize the Zoom students there. So everything is uh, uh, very straightforward, easily you can manage all the scenes. It's like you do camera, but much easier from this eye studio. So all the uh, scene has virtual electric whiteboard, which you can manage the resize from from this uh, tools in real time. So everything can be easily made. So I just make uh, another studio, uh, and then uh, the color change here to show the uh, German Christmas shopping center atmosphere. So they have a very beautiful background, so beautiful uh, buildings. I took uh, many pictures there to show this kind of environment. But most beautiful for, for me is, uh, is uh, the, uh, what is this, uh, Trevi, Trevi Spring. Beautiful uh, Trevi. So there is a small water coming out, but to make this effect, I make a small uh, transparency to simulate something is flowing. Uh, the technique we I'm using here is uh, just uh, one more layer to have a different uh, thing is happening. So, for example, when I put this kind of picture here, it is uh, it's quite beautiful. This is uh, just an image of the uh, the picture. So they they mix it here. Of course, this color also you can change. So very different colors uh, you can make. So the uh, if you think the the picture is too uh, small or big, you can resize and uh, repositioning. So small uh, size or changing is uh, also possible like this. So when you have a camera zooming in, you can also re uh, positioning the uh, background picture like this. So uh, anything you can make, then it automatically make animation from one scene to another. So it looks like a very professional studio. The, none of the uh, device in this uh, area, uh, they cannot make such a flexibility for a teacher can do by himself. So let's go back to the iStudio system PowerPoint. So as you see here, all the uh, titles here coming from the notes of this slide. So whatever you change the slide, they change the uh, picture. For example, when I change the slide, so next slide coming like this, and then uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this picture is uh, this title is a typing title. So I can I can change to uh, use a PowerPoint title. So if I click this title enable, then the the uh, titles here is a note. For example, if I change previous one, so if I change the PowerPoint slide, then immediately they change another note here. So iStudio has a capability loading PowerPoint. And also, uh, the any uh, note in the PowerPoint slide can show the title on here. So everything so flexibly designed, so any novice people can manage this by himself. Anytime when you want to have a different scene, different size of the monitor, you can modify like this. You can change, and of course you can make uh, some curve, so it will have uh, s uh, something like this to make a more immersive way. Of course this one can do the same, like this way. And also when you make a camera more uh, center, you can put this way to, to repositioning on that scene. So everything is uh, very easily you can design. So scene one, which means virtual scene one, virtual camera moving like this way. And there also you can change the size flexibly as you want. Interesting thing is when you do live presentation, if you point, uh, if you're pointing move on the screen, they automatically bring to students to watch only this PowerPoint project screen very largely. Here we have uh, three uh, system uh, desk. One is a uh, lecture desk. Normally they call lectern. So we call this is I lectern to put in classroom to make a classroom as a studio. So whatever they teach in the classroom using iStudio, the teacher don't have to do anything. He just do normal presentation. Then all the camera action and switching automatically made by 
uh, uh, iStudio. This is uh, this year's main uh, pattern technology we are moving to make a self studio without any production director or any uh, technical directors. And also similar product for desk to put in in the a little bit large uh, classroom or auditorium room, so they will have uh, such kind of uh, uh, the lecture desk, same thing like this, but more flexible functions here, so that they can manage this. When you put this one in the classroom, normally the teacher can see from here here without disturbing uh, watching this. So the teacher's face always exposed to the students in the classroom. And same time, when you put this way, the, the big monitor, like a 27 inch or bigger monitor in the front, can be put in the vertical direction. That means he hides him himself, because this one is for self-studio. So that way we can make a studio uh, in any place, in a small space, as long as they have a space for 2 meter by 2 meter is enough. The third one is uh, uh, we call uh, iStudio console uh, desk. So we simply call this is i i stand, where we put multiple uh, TV screen like a uh, 65 inch or 55 inch, whatever 75 inch screen you can put there to make a very large uh, three monitors where you can show two zoom screen and so also you are rendering and other other functions like YouTube broadcasting or Facebook you can show on this on other screens. This one you can easily convert any existing uh, broadcast uh, studio. Whenever they have an uh, existing studio, you see they need a control room, they need a, a production director, TD, and announcer. So such a team work only make a broadcast uh, recording. But for now, once you put this machine in, in any studio, the studio becomes self-studio. It's like I show you, you can manage every layer studio by yourself very easily and flexibly you can do this kind of presentation from anywhere. So I will turn uh, to uh, this picture to make a more uh, nicer view like this. So we, uh, we, have, we are showing such a uh, flexibility for you to manage the camera action and also the virtual electric whiteboard where you can switch to show different things. For example, now on this screen, for zoom screen, I can show live uh, live sh uh, scene where we can have a zoom. You see you are very familiar with this scene which is called the zoom. So they, they are uh, actually uh, showing this zoom to make a real time uh, talking with the students in the other side. So we are providing the tools how you make a studio and also how you manage the scene. We, we call this is a key frame design, key a uh, virtual scene design where you can put all the different layers, 3D object to, to design such a scene. So right now we have four scene. One is a uh, studio scene like this. Uh, any, any studio scene you can change or modify. So you can put this way or you can put the Vatican, uh, the, uh, uh, this is actually, uh, uh, the what is called the uh, Colosseum. So the Colosseum view, we have this. So you can see a beautiful Colosseum uh, studio from there. In this case, you can change the also the the desk like this, so it will match slightly better uh, than uh, than before. So every desk uh, uh, also can change the color. Everything we are providing together is iStudio, so you don't have to create everything. You just cr modify from what we provide you. So that way we, uh, we make a studio from anywhere. The beautiful studio you can manage. Uh, of course, when you go 5,000 or 7,000 uh, higher, then there are more, uh, more beautiful uh, 3D objects you can create. So there are many things I will explain later. Anyway, with the general concept, how we make a studio, how we make a scene change, how we make uh, the virtual electric whiteboard, and also how we make automatic uh, recording and broadcasting is the main pattern technology which Tarim created by ourselves. So this uh, studio, uh, as you see here, uh, we uh, can apply this uh, system to many different existing rooms. For example, the uh, as I mentioned, the iStudio, we provide uh, tools to create studio. 
the virtual electric white whiteboard you can manage now the uh, 400 has more layers more virtual electric whiteboard 5000 has uh, six virtual electric whiteboard and also 12 virtual sense you can create so when uh, we have this one uh, the uh, all this uh, thing is designed for yourself so once you have uh, this one in many different cases uh, you can apply ICD. ICD has uh, many different uh, system uh, together. First, uh, first time we use uh, just a ring mount system. So uh, the system integrator connect the camera, video, audio, of to put this one in any studio. And after that, we uh, we make a transportable transportable live studio. So they can just bring one uh, 14 kilogram system where we have video audio interface. So you just connect camera, microphone, then ready to go. This kind of a studio recording. But now, as I explained, we have more uh, freedom. One is desk like this. You can create very small self-studio. And we have a stand where you can put this one in existing studio or any existing video conference system. So far, every video conference from Cisco, Polycom, whatever, they claim that their uh, presentation, the conference is called tele presence not telepresentation because they just bring present in one TV and presenting material in another one but now the ICD as you see here we're combining teacher and teaching material together in a virtual virtual studio space so they can always make a very beautiful stu studio space to make such kind of things there this is what uh, the advantage of the iStudio which you can make always professional video coming out there and again, this one can put in Note as like I'm using now. As uh, as I mentioned, the the studio I'm using is a simple room where I have a notebook. I'm in the uh, home now because the uh, the Korea COVID uh, team, uh, COVID defending team is is working for every traveler from Europe has to stay home for. 10 days to prevent any uh, virus contamination there. So I'm staying home and then uh, this uh, Christmas time I'm, <laughs> I'm getting free. So I will have a first Korean life after Christmas. As you see here at the stand, you can put in existing studios so they don't need any other operator except you to make a very beautiful broadcasting self-studio from this stand. And same time, you can put this one in any existing telepresence system so it will turn into telepresentation system as like you are watching. And also, uh, you can replace the lecture desk using uh, I, I lectern, then everybody can have classroom become very professional video pumping out from there. We are turning the classroom to be uh, the open class to have everybody watching from anywhere in the world. The notebook version we have been announced, so now the the I two hundred three hundred can work in notebooks, so every people can use the, can carry this one to make a studio in anywhere in the world. The a little bit bigger I desk you can put in large classroom so the the classroom become also the broadcast show all the value presentation in such a big uh, auditorium or uh, such a big uh, classroom becomes the studio uh, as like a professional uh, video recording people working there so this console uh, if you look at more carefully we we have two screen for zoom for example uh, you don't have to use only zoom but many other video conference you can put and there we put the camera, multiple cameras here, up to five to six camera. We provide the, uh, the uh, space where you can put all this one in around this uh, area. And also the uh, microphone, uh, the computer system inside, so the all the cables connections here become very clearly organized. So this machine pre-built, uh, we ship this one system to any place in the world. And then what you have to do is just uh, connect the power network and hang the uh, TV screens on the uh, uh, on these frames. So we are the first company who really make a broadcast station on the desk. So they ship any place immediately within one hour. They can start uh, broadcasting, recording, and live presentation. So all this kind of story we are trying to make happening in everywhere. 
So basically, uh, once you put existing studio like this, there is a console room, there is a, I mean control room, there is a studio, but we put this kind of a meeting or a talk, multiple people sitting uh, the the desk. So the multiple camera showing this side, that side, or the here, so they can be uh, the actor in this studio. Of course, they have a green studio here, so they will uh, mostly use here for the broadcast. This is a simple picture showing self studio in a very small space. One of the biggest institute in Korea. They they use this one for chancellor doing a live uh, interview with uh, the writers. Uh, this is a typical video conference room. Uh, usually we put the green here to make a virtual, uh, and all the people can speak and talk to participate in this video conference. In the classroom also we can put this kind of a desk so the classroom become broadcast station. Uh, so far, it was not fully automated, but from this year, we provide full automatic, the artificial uh, kind of intelligent functions of studio. So the, the lecture desk here, the teacher don't have to do anything, only concentrate on as like they do normal presentation, then all the uh, uh, last part, I studio taking care of. Here we have a, a little bit larger uh, studio, then we can put a little bit bigger version of iStudio to have a multiple screen output to zoom and the render output. So same screen showing in other classroom, which means classroom can be spread. Uh, unlimited number of class can participate to watch the uh, teacher's uh, lecture from anywhere in the world. So, so such kind of uh, things we, we made. So this one will, uh, will really make a the content mining from any place in any uh, presentation room or classrooms. So all, all these features are quite exciting to, to turning this uh, studio in, uh, in, in everywhere. The existing broadcast studio, uh, classroom sharing, uh, or existing classroom, or auditorium room, or the meeting rooms, all the, the, the digital transformation or presentation information can be uh, put in the cloud. This is what we are really trying to uh, achieve now, and that will be the one of the exciting things we can, uh, we can make here. So I will bring the, uh, the music to, to have some uh, ending closing uh, the music. So I'm explaining uh, how we uh, do recording, how we uh, make all the uh, automatic presentation there. I hope you enjoy my presentation and also we can uh, really do. It's like I, I mentioned, we have a switcher, virtual camera switcher, like one camera here, another camera there, the other camera here. Of course, all the time when you double click any screen, it becomes a screen like this. So basically, now I say 300 can make a four major scene change. We call this a virtual scene change. And also every scene, for example, here you can switch whatever you want. Here, for example, now PowerPoint, or the uh, YouTube video screen, or my camera, uh, or PowerPoint. Everything is uh, so flexibly designed. Every layer you can manage from any input source to show here with a cl mouse click. So we designed this uh, virtual studio system not for studio people. This design is focused on any novice people who can operate without any uh, fear or without any difficulties. Designed for every people to make uh, their desktop broadcast station. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Even my English is not perfect. Hope you understand because we have a lot of video information. You will catch the idea. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you uh, uh, accept. This is one of the Christmas good news for every few in the world who really has been suffering to do tele-presentation. The iStudio is a real, world-first tele-presentation solution for any uh, presenter in the world. Thank you very much.